Today with Clarabella and Nathan Henry. Hi! Hi Hi everyone! Hello! Hello! So good afternoon everybody and welcome to Feel Good Friday! So I am today with Nathan from Jordy Shaw who is our Favourite, and I've got to say it. You always say that because I'm sat here. No, no, you are our favourite oh, male. Oh, that favourite male, alright, okay. Yes, you are, no, you are. Um, so, today, the aim is, have a lot of fun. It's Friday, we're going to feel good. We're going to do some questions and answers. We're going to do Guess the Celebrity, and we're going to do the Pin the Bag Challenge. Come with this. Also, at the end of the session, there is a competition, so make sure you stick around to find out the details of that. So, we're going to start with our questions for Nathan. So, our first question is, who is the most famous person in your phone book? Ooh. Oh. oh. Right. So, um, well, I'm not going to include the George Shaw because that's like an obvious choice. Um, is Conor Maynard quite famous? Yeah. Yeah, what did yeah. he say? He's done loads of things. things. I've got his number, but the same actually I texted him and he didn't text me back, so I think he's going to be a good <laughs> number. So if not him, Bianca Gascoigne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I felt like I was going to lie then and say Naomi Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> so someone like Justin Bieber. I've got Kate Perry's phone number. Are you oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Conor Maynard's good. Conor Maynard's good. He's famous. Yeah. He is. He's really nice as well. So the second question, and you've got to be honest, Within a sort of PG environment, right? What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Well, it wasn't weird. It was quite nice. It happened yesterday. Actually, I went to Tesco shopping, and this girl, she literally left the customers in the checkout, ran straight across the store, asked for a selfie, and then as she gave me a selfie, oh, I don't know if I can say this because I might get sacked. <laughs> she, she gave me loads of discount off the shopping. Oh. Like she, she was like, don't tell anyone, she swiped it and ran off. Yeah. I saw it, I saw it on you. So, yeah, on I said, Twitter. yeah, I said, you're a legend. Yeah. So, I think her name's Liv. Liv, if you're watching, Hi, Liv. Liv. <laughs> got me just got off my iron. <laughs> yeah, I got an iron, some cleaning products, a bit boring life, but. Okay. So, our third question, and it's a bit of a difficult one, and you are allowed to think about it if you need the time, right. is who is your favourite Geordie Shaw female? Only one. Just one. It's got to be one because there's a lot of them and they're all fabulous, but you've got to pick one. Right, past or present? Oh no, because that makes it worse. Yeah, no, just, just, go, just go present. Put them all together in one pool and pick one. Right. I'm going oh to go with the obvious one. Oh. The obvious one. Although I don't know because it's quite close. Mm. Just one. But only because it's her birthday this weekend and I'm going to, going to see her after this, I'm going to go for Sophie. Sophie. But it would be Chloe because obviously Chloe's my best friend, but this weekend it's Sophie because Chloe hasn't texted me today. Yeah. Or she hasn't texted me the last week because she's got a boyfriend now and she doesn't care about me. Yeah, that's so. rude. So you're ditched. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, well done. So that's the questions over the weather, bad one. No. Nah, so the next nervous. part, don't be nervous. The next part is Guess the Celebrity Challenge. Okay. The Celebrity Challenge. By the way, for everyone watching, we have loads of people studying and they just made that jingle <laughs> right up there. That was really good. Oh, was like, like, freestyling. That was better than the rehearsed one. Yeah, it's okay, quite thanks. quiet though. You didn't you know, do the deep voice? It's just a little bit louder, just a touch louder. So it's Guess the Celebrity Challenge. The Celebrity Challenge. Yeah, I couldn't hear you then. That's good. <laughs> right. So the aim of this game is I'm going to... Um, show you a series of drawings, okay. two of which have been done by me and one of which has been done by one of our talented artists. Okay. They're drawings of celebrities and you have to tell me who they are. Okay. Okay. So this is your first one. I will give a clue if you get stuck. So this is the first one. Right, I know who that is straight away. Kim Kardashian. Yes! Hey. I'm, I'm good, so good at this. Okay. I'm so okay. chuffed because most of them was a bit like, is it or into? You can tell by the bum That's and the hair. Accentuated bum and lips. Mine's bigger than hers though. Yeah. I've got a very big bum. It's a good thing to have. So the second one. Okay. It's is quite, it hard to It's an easy one actually. Right. Well, only because I know who it is because I've seen the bag. But if at first I didn't know what it could either be me. Or Rylan. It's, it's definitely me. It's definitely you. Really? He's so that's slimmer you. than me. And we're gonna get I'm you better to, looking. We're going to get you to sign this at the end and it's going to go part of our competition. Okay. Prizes. So, the third one. Okay. Are you ready? Oh. This one might be a bit harder purely.
purely because it's more, I think, my era and I'm a lot older than you. Right. Ready? Number one, now, is it? No. Going along the right lines, singer, because she's got a microphone, but she's not an individual. Well, she is an individual. Is singer. she a band? She's in a band. Is it Baby one. Spice? Yes! yes. Yeah. Oh, but I've just seen the dummy there. What the hell? That's so <laughs> stupid. That's like the biggest clue ever. I didn't see that. I got, because I've seen the, the blonde hair girls. and I just thought Madonna. No, the big tail things, I thought that'd oh. be a right giveaway. Well, you've got three out of three. Oh, so that's how high, that's how high it's gone. Yeah. 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 Well done, Bertrand. Right, the next part is paint the Clarabella plastic right. bag challenge. Now, Nathan's divulged to me prior to this that he got an A in art, mm -hmm. he's really good at art, so this is going to be immense. So artistic, very artistic flair, mm -hmm. very creative. This week, we've helped him a little bit by adding factors because it was too long last week. So this week, we're just going to focus on painting the eyes, and then if we get time, we're going to ask uh, ask Nathan your questions, so if you'd like to write some on whatever app you're using and we'll hopefully get those asked at the end. So here we go, so we're yeah. painting a bag for Marnie and you're going to take it to Marnie as well as a little girl. Yeah I am. So we're painting Marnie okay. today. Yeah. So I want to start with? Brown paint and the big the chunky brush. Okay. If you want to wet it you can. Yeah, if this is why I didn't art class watch you go like this. Dip it in the water and you tap like this. Well did you see what I did? I went in the water and just did that. Do you know an interesting fact? Like, pretend this is a cup of tea and this is a spoon. Posh people stir this cookie tea like this mm. and then they do this. Yeah, because it's always place it on the it? side. Do you want to see how I stir And then the you're tea? supposed to yeah. do it like that. I got this. Yeah, I do that and then whack the tea. Then whack on the side. Then my mum goes clean that up. Mm. It's supposed to have your little pinky out as well. So try to be posh when putting it in. Yeah. Right, so brown. Brown. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is Ooh. the bulk of the eye, you can see the lines around there, it's going to fill this in brown. Whoa, my concentration face has started. If I stick my tongue out sometimes when I concentrate, you know. It's a sign of intelligence that, you know. Is it? Yep. Ask me a question then, see if I'm intelligent. Um, who is the Prime Minister of a country? Of this country? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say Donald Trump, but it's not, is it? That's America. I think he's the President. Um, I don't know. She's a girl. Oh, that, the thing like the hair that you put in your hair, Theresa May. That's how I remember. Yeah. Theresa May. Theresa May. <laughs> ask, ask me another one. Yeah. I'm trying to think of them because I'm really not like intelligent. Like, myself. right, ask like, I know like loads of like capitals or countries because like when I was little. I don't because I didn't do geography. Right, the only reason mine was, this, I'm not condoning this by the way, but when I was little we had a fair at school and I stole a book. And it was like a book of all the maps of the world and all the capitals, and I literally read it religiously for weeks, and now I know a lot. So it's really good. Well, stealing's obviously not. It's not. Good. Well, it was a good thing because it resulted in a good exactly. outcome. It's the only thing I do know. It's my party trick. Well, it's not. So have you now gone on to the second eye? Oh. Just like racing ahead. Oh wait, do no, I not, am I not clearing that bit in there? You can if you want. You don't have to. What I do because I put the black over the top, but you don't have to. I told you, I told you I was very artistic. I'm really stuck with questions. What about, right, ask me about singers. Singers, so name me the other Spice Girl. Right, Scary Spice, because that's what I used to want to be when I was little. Yep. Um, Posh Spice. Yeah. Ginger Spice. Yeah. Posh Spice, Baby Spice, Ginger Spice, Scary Spice. I think football. Oh, sports Spice. Sports Spice. Yeah, well, that's good. Right, I'm going to ask you one. Oh god, no. It's going to... Right, go right, you choose a category. Um, fashion. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Right. Like, what, what sort of fashion do you want? Like, proper high fashion or... Because I watched a documentary on Netflix every day. Either or, because I watch a lot. Right, so what's the massive, like, fashion ball that happens in America I think it's always on the first month of May. Is it the Met Gala? Oh, god damn. Yeah, yeah it was. Yes! Okay, right, well. That was just a guess. Do you know what the theme was for this year's Met Gala? No. I do, Comme de Garçons. What's that? So it's like a really like, weird artist, but like just like weird clothes and stuff. It's more like art than it was fashion. I know it was last year. So do you know things like um, Tim Burton, 
doing like the corporate yeah. ride and all the stuff like that. So he always works so, with um, Johnny Depp, doesn't he? Yeah, so other than the corpse bride, name me an animation he's created. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, oh my god. Coraline, or Coraline. Yeah. Uh, he's my favourite. Spider Man Chronicles. Right, you need your white now, that brush. The same, this one. Other one. Bit thinner. Right, but not a little bit. So, with the white bits, can you see the triangles at either Here. side? Yeah. You just fill in them in yeah. with white at either side on either eye. Use this actually is a lot harder than it looks, you know. It's very hard. Do you find it quite rough to paint on everybody's face? Yeah. Like, like really rough. It's almost like painting on potato sack. So, what did you do at your GCSE in art then? Did you do a specific sort of thing? I did fine art. So then, for my, well, it's quite vain actually what I did, I did a massive portrait, probably about the size of this table, of me <laughs> looking in the mirror. But like, my reflection was in colour, and then the, my, other reflection, my reflection was in black and white. Deep. Mm. And I kept up my bedroom wall for like a month. Has your mum still got it? In the attic somewhere, yeah. Attic? Do so I put it on this side as well? Yeah, that okay. side. I'm and going dead fast. Yeah, because now she's got different, different shape of eyes. Well, that's fine. Because you can level it out when you do your black outline. And on this side? Yeah, same again on that side. It's quite difficult though, isn't it? Yeah. Right? It's not like painting on paper. Nah, this is way harder. So when's the next series of Geordie Shaw start being filmed? So we've just finished one um, that finished like a few weeks ago and that'll be out in January. And then, I don't know if I'm to say it, okay. <laughs> the next one will be where we go back is in February. So, is Charlotte coming back? No, I don't think she's back. Because I, think I did read something in the press, but then obviously not if there's any reading in the press. She did say she'd come back for a special. Like, she did actually say, because I asked her, I said, would you ever come back? And she said, I'd definitely come back if it was like a special, because we did like a birthday special once, and everyone would come back. And even Holly said she'd come back for that, so that'd be quite nice to yeah. see. Yeah. But, like, loads of everyone's in like different parts of their life now. Like, Gary's having a baby. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Charlotte's doing just take over us. Holly's like got her own range out now and stuff, so it's quite hard. But Maybe, we all try and make time for each other still. Yeah. I'm seeing them all this weekend because we're going to eat them so I'm really excited for that. And I'll see them tomorrow night as well for Sophie's birthday. It's going to be carnage then. It's going to be messy! <laughs> right, now you need your thin one. Right. Super thin one. And your black. Oh. So, first thing you're going to do is outline this eye. So, I'll show you. Look. So, the bottom, so it's a little bit like eyeliner. Edging round. Oh, is that too much? I'm scared to do it on. No, to be honest, don't go in with that because the more you put on, because it soaks it in anyway, and it doesn't matter if it's too like dark because you blend it in with the lashes. Like that? Yeah. And then the same again at the top. I told you I'd be good at this, didn't I? Yeah, you are. I don't know why my voice just went high. <laughs> you are good. I'll get you in production after this and get you painted if you love. I've just been on the production office. It's actually amazing. It's like Santa's Grotto. There's glitter everywhere. <laughs> and it's so pretty. And there's Christmas music on yeah. currently as well. So I did say it's in like Santa's Grotto right now. You were actually acting like a kid. I know, I was like, shop. what's this? What's this? I, thought, I was that like, how does this? Can I put that in there? Right, they've got a machine. I don't know if you just want to know this, but there's a machine downstairs. Can I tell them? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Right, so it's where the bags go and they get dried. But like, you can actually, if you go to McDonald's and your food gets cold, yeah. you can actually put your food in there and it'll be warm it. So I said, if you ever have a takeaway and you want to like warm it up the next day, that you put it in that machine. Yeah. Obviously you won't have one at home. Yeah. It's microwave. It's an inside effect that I gave him when we were looking at the warming machine, drying machine even. It's not a warming machine. But yeah, we have uh, heated up food in there when it's gone cold, because we're too busy to eat it. So you've nearly done that now. Is this good though? Yeah, it's good. So yours is better than Oh, you've got it on the eye. You didn't tell me to do that. Which bit? Yeah, we're on the, we're on the brown bit as well. Oh. This is fine, because it's not like you've finished it. No, but I might dead eye to fight, so when like... Oh, no. When things go wrong like that, though, it's smudged. Where's it gone wrong? There, she's got black in her eyeball now. No, it's fine. So then, round the brown, have you done both browns? Not yet. And then we're coming to like the fun part, which is the lashes. Right, so my legs wear fake lashes, so... So you need to do hers like super big. Yeah. I mean, the big anyway, but if you want to go bigger, you'll Oh, I'm going to go massive. Like... Like up here big. No, it's not that big. Maybe it's there. Well, that's where they go anyway. Oh. She's all about the eyelashes. 
for all the Georgia girls that we love them. Right, so you're ready for your eyelashes. Yeah. Same brush, black paint. And if you want to watch me do one, because you start, you can start at the top if you want, but I always start at the bottom. Holy cow, that's massive. Yeah, they are really big. Right, and then just on. build, keep going up, step by Wait, step. You've got less paint on than me. Is that enough? Yeah, but you might find it sucks in really quick. Right, so start from the corner. Yeah, right in the corner. Oh. That's it. And then just keep going up and around. Ooh. Whoa. That's long. Yeah. That's longer than mine. And then just keep building them up as you that, go around. That. Yeah. That. Yeah. Not, and then another continue, one. yeah. Where does the next one go to see her? Yeah, just next to it, slightly apart, obviously, so you get between the lashes, you can see them individually. How do you make yours go like that point at the end? Because mine's not doing it, so. I think it's just experience. Yeah, it is. It's doing it a little bit. Like that? Yeah. Then again. And then just keep going right round until you get to the top. Oh, I feel very therapeutic. Like if you're hungover and like you were very stressed, I feel like this would be quite nice to do. I think. actually paint my bags the best when I'm hungover, hungover. Which is weird. Because it takes your mind off things, doesn't it? It's like or even if you were mad, you could just be like, do you know what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna paint a bag. Have you seen like the platinum? That we do, which have got like full Disney backgrounds and no. but yeah, I do them and watch them. Oh my god, I love they're that. quite good. So, what, yeah, when you get to this bit, you can just follow those lines on there. Then the book, oh, that's the small one, too. One, two. So, is it harder or easier? Than right, it's it way harder. The, the eyelashes are the hardest part. I thought I'd be good at them. Bang. There you go. Whoa, then... she looks sexy. <laughs> I think Manny's gonna like it. I hope so. Well, so do I. Should I have a look? Look. Show them. Uh, I've done a bad job, haven't I? Really? Good, yeah. So then the bottom the lashes. Yeah. Oh, God, more. Bottom, yeah, got our bottom lashes. So they're very similar. You start from the corner and just flick your brush out in little small strokes. Do they get smaller as go along? Yeah. And I do them to about there. Yeah. Yeah. She's so, so pretty. The other side, so the same again. Oh no. So it's going the opposite way, so it might be a bit difficult. So, uh. so in Geordie Shaw, obviously, when you watch the program, yeah. it looks like you all spend every night drunk. Is, oh, that, God. Yeah. is that the reality? Is it like every single night? So when we're filming, right, we go sometimes this time it changed so it goes five nights like going out every night and then one night we get off it's like on that night no one knows about this actually on that night off like we like to watch films and stuff and like get takeaway yeah and i think that's when everyone actually becomes friends and stuff because like you all sat around and you just like talk just rubbish talk yeah chat. and one thing i've always wondered as well watching it you all seem to come in from your night out when you're all drunk yeah and there's always takeaway out. Yeah. So did, did the like production bring that in so it's there for when you so, come Yeah, out? so the production either get that for us or sometimes we go like the kebab shop and order it and stuff. Like, so we get to pick, choose what we want. Because it's always just like laid out on the table for when you come in and I'm like, I wish someone would do that for me when I come in drunk. The best <laughs> the best time is whenever we've been to Sophie's dad's restaurant. Because her dad drinks, so do you know when I always have a Sunday dinner? Yeah. It's always from Sophie's dad's restaurant. So sometimes we get food from there before we go up and then everyone will eat theirs because I'm not greedy, I'll save mine until we get in. But then does everybody try and steal it? Because they've not got anything. I'll share it with them, but I don't share the mash, because that's my favourite part. <laughs> mash and gravy. I love that. Right, this one's not as good, this one. It's because it's a different angle now. Your right eye's better than your left. That but it's still it's good. Normal. It's because you need to change the direction of where you like flicking. So do one more there? No, just do one more there. One more, yeah. be fine, yeah. And then the bottom one's on that one. The bottom ones are the same again. Oh, look how fast you've done yours. So speedy. Because it's what I do though. Put me on a night out with Geordie Shaw and I'd probably end up in A&E. I reckon you could handle it, you know. I 
probably could, to be fair. I think you think you could out drink us. Yeah, I am known for being able to drink a lot. Do you should, do, you should get all the George Charlotte to come to work experience here and then we'll get used to work experience with us. <laughs> and we'll all take us on a night out. I'd love that. that sounds great. I don't yeah. know what last though. We'll do the paint in the next day when we're home over <laughs> But then we'll do the night no out before. No one's going to get up to come and paint back when they're home over. I would. Like if you did it like we three o'clock in the afternoon. Them. Yeah. Right, so then you take your little brush again still. Yeah. And you're black again to do your pupil of your eye. Oh, yeah. The same one, yeah? Yeah, same little brush. It's easy to just get a little bit more control with it. So you've got your black pupil there. Someone's calling. <laughs> Hello. Hello, caller. <laughs> They just got That's pied. It. I hope, I hope, but so if they're watching this, they're going to go now. But their phone call just got denied. I was in a meeting, though. No, you wasn't in a meeting. Because I can see, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's like the best pie I've like, ever seen. It's a live pie. Bye. There we go. There you go. So now you've got the whites of the eyes, which is like a little fire oh, hole. Just gone bone eyed. So just dip your brush in the water. Yeah. And then wipe it onto your. Do you know what this reminds me of? Like, do you know when I was when I was little, I used to watch a program called Art Attack. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you remember the head? Yeah. Like, I think that's, head. that's who I feel like I am right now because I've got quite a big head as it is. So <laughs> I feel like him. I have. It's huge. I have to wear my extra large caps. Like, do you know when you have like baseball caps? <laughs> do the mecca like, inside it? No. So do you know like baseball caps have the like the oh, dots? The top, I have to wear them on the last one. Really? Yeah, because it doesn't fit my head. But you're tall anyway. You're actually nearly six foot four. I thought it was about six foot, but it's six foot five watts, and I was like, wow, I'm short. <laughs> right, so get it in your white. Yeah. And your first one, you go in here. So this is to just highlight the eyes. On the outside? Yeah, on the outside of the pupil. Just two white ones on either side. Ooh. Actually, I'm quite good. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I'm quite enjoying this. And then again, dip in, and you're just doing two little dots on the inside of the pupil like that. There. Yes. And there you've done it. Where can I paint it? Because Manny oh, always, yeah. Manny always wears little mouse ears. So he wants to do mouse ears to customise it more yeah, for sure, Manny, sure, sure. and we said that he was allowed to do it. I'm gonna while you're doing that, see if I can bring up some right. questions from people on here. What do mouse ears have the pointy or the circle? Mouse ears are a little bit circular at the top. Oh. Just a little bit. She's a cat now. <laughs> she got from a mouse to a cat. Right, let me find. Oh, it. this is so cute. She's got to use it. You've got to make her use it. I'm going to use mine. I'm going to take mine shopping. I've got Tesco to see that girl again to see if I can get more <laughs> discount. <laughs> this is Nathan's bag. So I will give you a little snippet of information that you don't know, or you might know, but you might not, depends who you are. But Mr. Clarabella has been completely revamped and he is launching really soon. I'm not gonna give you a date, but like Clarabella has all her body types, all her outfits, hairstyles and everything else, Mr. Clarabella is getting that. And this is one of the new designs that is obviously based on Nathan and Nathan's bags. So that is coming soon. So just like Clarabella, body types, we've got dad bod, we've got fit bod, we've got skinny bod, we've got all these bods, just like Clarabella. What bod do you think I have on there? Um, athletic bod. Oh good, that's good. <laughs> Tall bod. Tall bod. Tall bod with a big head. I can't get on here. Do you guys want to see if there's any questions on there to read out while I'm just trying to... Oh, hang on. I might be there. Right, so if you've got any questions, send them in because I'm about to go and have a look now. I think I've done it. Sure. That's really cute. It is, isn't it? I told you. Look. So there's his finished bag. Ah. There's mine, Ooh, obviously. Good. It's just the same as always. It's so cute Yours touch. Right, I so. Want to do more. Have you had loads of jobs prior to Geordie Shaw? What was the best and what was the worst? Oh, that's a good question. Right, so the best one was when I used to work in the perfume shop in Manchester. I loved that because 
My manager at the time, she didn't she didn't mind what I did. I could turn and hang up from over. I was once half an hour late, but she still kept us on because oh. I made the most sales. Because literally, I could like talk the back legs off a donkey. Sorry, Sophie, but I can literally can. Um, <laughs> that's 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 but I literally, I could I just like I could make anyone, but I could make someone buy poo if I wanted to. But <laughs> you could I sell think, it. You could glitter it and sell it. I think the worst job I had was when I was sixteen and I worked in a restaurant and. Basically, it was like I got paid three pound thirty an hour. I had no breaks. I worked from three o'clock after I finished college till one in the morning, mm-hmm. and I, because I didn't get a break at all. So what, when it's slave labor. it is, but like this is what I used to do to get my pay back, right? So when people used to come in the restaurant, used to sit down. So say if it was a table of four, you could you get free bread. So I'd ask this kitchen for five loaves of bread. They put the four on the table, but then put one in my apron, and then I'd go to the toilet and like, eat it. And then yeah. sometimes I'd make extra meals on the tab. Take their meals out when I take the extra now. I take to the kitchen and just sit and <laughs> eat it, yeah. Like, well, if you're not gonna pay me extra, you're not gonna give me a break, I'm gonna eat your food for free, I don't care. <laughs> well, at least you got fed. And I got sacked as well. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on the, the way food, Lisa Ford has asked Nathan, what is your favourite takeaway? Uh, Thai, Thai, Thai food, love it. Mm-hmm. Green curry, love that. Spicy as well, so when you have a poo the next day, it really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Other than a night out in Newcastle, where's your favourite place to go out, and that's from Jade? What for a night out? Yeah. Manchester. Woo! Right answer. Everyone's from Manchester, that's why we're going to And uh, Liverpool. I love Liverpool as well. That's a really good night out. But you're off to Essex, aren't you? Essex. Oh, yeah, well, I've never been on a night out properly in Essex. No, I've been to Colchester the other week, but I've never been like properly out in Essex, so that should be fun. I don't know if they'll be able to party like me, though. Um, I can't mess. pronounce your name, Sophia. Is it Sophia? I hope I pronounced it properly. I said both bags look beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Who's his bag? Who's not his bag? Not, yeah. com- not that I'm competitive or anything. <laughs> Whose bag is better? <laughs> Mine. Uh, Jade said both bags are really pretty and she loves them. Oh, thank you, Jade. Uh, my husband's saying that he actually makes sure I get takeaway when I've been out and I'm drunk. So, oh, he's really watching. So you see, yeah, I mean, are you like, lying now? No, because what I mean <laughs> is when you come in, I shouldn't have to go, I'm starving. I'm starving. Sleep, you should just be, be there. there. But that's maybe a bit selfish, but yeah. You do know, like, after, like when I'm not in the house though, after a night out, I don't have a takeaway. Do you not? No. Nah. It stops my hangover. I'm, I'm far too like far too drunk like to even eat when I'm outside the house, so normally I've even passed out, I've weed myself. <laughs> so another question, which part of your house do you love the most to be in? It, what, in the George Shaw house or my house? Answer both. Right, so in the George Shaw house, the girls' bedroom, because it's always fun, and I love yes. being there. And in my house, my bathroom, because I've got an ensuite, so I can always go for a morning poo have a shower Do and the, the whole wall is glass so while you're pooing and showering <laughs> you can, you can watch that. yourself yeah. and honestly it's just the best experience what watching yourself go to the loo yeah well, yeah because sometimes they see my face up all oh. so like oh i don't think today. i could oh i could no i don't think i could right i'm now going to give you details of our competition so the competition is similar to last week, so you need to share this post to so the video that we've done today. You need to like the post, love it, high five, kisses, whatever emoji you want to use, and comment done so we know you've entered. The prize this week is again a hundred pounds worth of Clarabella We're gonna get Nathan to sign this, so it's also his signed portrait of himself. And also, today's offer that goes live at four is 18% off everything Clarabella. So that is on over the weekend. So if you want to get some Christmas shopping in early, make sure you take advantage of that. So that's it for today. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Nathan. He's been thank an absolute pleasure. And Look how much I can't actually stop sure painting. I love it so much. Show sure everybody it before right. you've got one minute. Right. Show sure everybody man is back. Yeah. Beautiful. Bye, guys. Beautiful. Thank you for today. Much love. And we'll see you again next Have week. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.